Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly. In today's video, um, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a directory using the command prompt. Um, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. It's gonna be a quick tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you are a video creator or a marketer, um, I want you guys to check out um, Kelly Beats. is a site I built. Um, basically, it helps you go through and actually um, get royalty-free music. I'll look it up. Uh, it looks pretty good. Listen to some of the music on there and tell me what you guys think. And guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is that I have a rule out here and put these in the description as well or as ready. You want to navigate to the to the to the to the directory you want to create your file in. So um, let's do that. And this no good way for you to see what's in the file directories in the folders is to do dr, and you can see which ones you can go to. So I have an example one and a project one. I'm going to do this one in my example one right here. And then you want to navigate to there and you navigate with CD and then the name and just make it same as this right here and then that's how you get there and then from here we can create a directory you create a, doc a directory with mkdr so it's kind of like make without the a and the e on the make and directory that's how we see directories right there so you do make directory and you can name in um, basically anything you want to name it um, just make sure it's together because if it's spaced apart it'll make two directories let's do um, you know, let's do create doc. let's do create and put together directory okay so we're going to do that right here and then let's see if we have, have the directory in here as you see right here, we have the create, create directory right, right there. And the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you. You can do the same thing with um, MD as well, and just go through. So, and I'm showing you another. I'm showing you something cool. If you push up on the arrow key, um, you can go back to what you had before. So we do that right there. We can actually can go back. And we can do this right here, and then MD would do the same thing as well. Um, let's do make directory two. We can go back and look at it. Oh yeah, make directory two right. But we did. We have MD for directory two as well. So if you see that, they can do that. Now let's try um, to do multiple directories. So let's go back to this one right here. Go three. Uh, type this in. And you can name these directories obviously anything you possibly want to. Um, so it doesn't really matter. So you see right here, let's make two of them. Now we can go in and see those. And we have two, three, four right there. Now I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to do one in, in your parents directory. So we're in example. Um, and then this one right here, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it in the Xavier Kelly directory, which is the parent directory. So it's our this is our parent, and this is the parent directory that's holding this one. This one's pretty simple as you guys see right here. Um, you just do the, you just do um, MD or or MKDR and you do dot dot and then you do backslash and you do that directory name and let's do um, let's do parent directory. Okay, and then let's go um, from there. Let's do let's do directory. I'm gonna do DR and then right there we do this put it in and then if we push CD which will help us navigate back to the the regular one CD dot sorry wait that's not CCS <laughs> CD and some dots it help us go backwards and then we look into this right here we can see our directory in here parent dot directory right there so let's go back into our one directory that we did example directory and let's go create another directory in a subdirectory okay so in a subdirectory let's list our, our directory and see which one we're going to create it in let's do it for the create directory one the one we started out with let's go back to our and I'm pushing the up key on this right here so let's do it in, in this one right here put a slash right there 
um, create a new a new name. Let's do subdirectory. I'm gonna spell that one wrong. Do that, and then right there we have our directory and our subdirectory, and it should create in our subdirectory. Oh, sorry. Oops, looks like I did that wrong. Wrong slash. Using the um. So we need to make sure you guys, as you see right there, do a forward slash or backslash. Okay. And now we look into that. Um, let's go into um, change over to our other directory, um, the create directory. Okay, and then we can look into this one, and we can see our subdirectory right there. Um, guys, this is pretty just some cool tools you can use basically when you're in that grave, you're doing the same command line, if you're on a server anywhere and you and you don't have FTP access or you want to create files on your server using command line prompts. Um, this is basically the tutorial to walk you through that. And like guys, I said before, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I make these type of videos every Monday. And also too on Tuesday, I'm um, on Tuesday I'm starting to put out my digital seller journey vlog. It's gonna be a weekly vlog now. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, start on that. Those are pretty good. Shows you behind the scenes what I do. And then on three is more if you guys are in the service industry and you're looking for tips on how to basically sell your digital services, then that will help you right there. And on Fridays, um, which we're gonna get back into right here, is helping you sell digital products on here too as well online. And these will start populating as well. So make sure you guys check this out and hope you guys enjoyed this right here. Make sure you like, share, and comment down below and subscribe to this video. I'm Xavier Kelly and I'll see you in the next one.